It's great to have uh, Steve Wentworth uh, in the studio again, who's been like our resident uh, spiritual counsellor. He, he does uh, writing and um, teaching as well, workshops. And something that Steve Wentworth has mentioned before is, is angels. Hmm. Now, it's something, it's fair to say, you know a bit about and you've been aware of angels, um, Steve, for a very long time. Um, but tell us what's been happening recently that's drawn your attention even more okay. to uh, angels, Steve. Well, I believe very strongly in angels, and I believe that they interact with us all the time. And, it, you know, sometimes it's in obvious ways, and sometimes it's in not-so-obvious ways. Uh, but I've had some really powerful experiences as far as angels are concerned, and uh, and... I've noticed it's not just about how they interact with me, but how they're also interacting with other people. Um, it, there was a, uh, as an example, there's a lady that I was uh, uh, doing a consultation for, and she'd explained that she was, uh, she was going through, she'd been through a terrible, terrible divorce that yeah. had basically ripped her family apart, and she felt very lonely and unfortunately just as all this was happening she was diagnosed with a serious illness and had quite a long stay in hospital yeah and while she was in hospital every she was feeling terribly lonely and all she really wanted was her family to come and see her and to be with her yeah and nobody was really talking so um every morning she was waking up and finding just a single feather next to her on her bedside unit which was very strange because, you know, as you know, in, in most hospitals, it's all air conditioned, windows yep. are shut, uh, the, the pillows are made of fibre, there's no feathers in there, but she really couldn't understand it. So as I was about to give, uh, she explained this to me during the consultation, and as I was about to give a rational explanation, I was trying to think of a, um, a reason why this could happen. From the corner of my eye, I noticed in the room this multicoloured glow starting to grow in the corner of the room right which um i asked her if she could see what i was seeing and she couldn't see it and right. um but this energy seemed to grow in the room until it kind of took the shape of what i would say is you know a, what you would say is a typical kind of picture that you would have of an angel in your mind um well i asked the angel in, in my mind mm. what you know what does this mean and the response was really clear it was to tell the lady that I was with that during all of her ups and downs and everything that she'd been through she was never alone mm. and the feather had been given to her just as a reminder to show her that you're not alone and that they were guiding her and protecting her and keeping her safe and it was just a message of hope and from that point on, it really kind of opened my eyes yeah. to angels. I'd always believed in angels, but I hadn't really kind of necessarily pushed it any more than that. Not until it was only a, a few months later, I was, uh, I was driving down the road, it was late at night, looking for somewhere to get some petrol. Yeah. And um, I, as I was driving along, um, I felt this really firm tap on my shoulder it was mm. a really firm tap now obviously i was i was driving and i was a bit shocked so i looked in the the mirror to see if anyone was there couldn't see anyone and um immediately brought the car to a, a halt to have a look i was about to turn around and look in the back seat to see if anybody was there yeah when before I even had a chance to look round to see who was there, out of the junction on the to my right, um, a huge truck came out of that junction at speed and went straight across my path. And it was it wasn't his right of way. He just hadn't seen me at all. Um, if I hadn't have stopped at that moment, I would have been exactly where that truck had come out. So. Uh, Again, yeah. it, it, there's, I'm, I feel obviously very grateful that you know whatever it was had um, had saved me. I was in total yes. shock, but it wasn't until I asked and I meditated on it to find out what had happened that I realised that it was angels intervening. Um, and and so, 
I've become much more aware from that day to start looking for the signs that angels are sending. And in a nutshell, Steve, what is an angel? An angel. Angels are sent by God. And there's... People talk about angels and they could be talking about... um, all kinds of beings and the way that I like to see this if you were going to talk in a rational sense is that the universe I believe is teeming with life the universe is life doesn't necessarily mean it has to look like us mm-hmm. and it can be mm-hmm. beings of a higher vibration a higher frequency beings from different dimensions that are aware of us and they can see us they can interact with us um, so I if you're talking from a rational point of view then and you want to think of it in terms of anything scientific then that's what I genuinely genuinely believe um but I do believe that there's you know it's it's, it's important to recognize that if you're going to work with anything spiritual and you want to work with anything that is of a spiritual nature that you're working with good energies Mm. and energies Mm. that want to help you What would you say, Steve, to someone who said, well, how on earth can you identify whether something is an angel or not? Mm. How uh, do you do you do you begin to quantify this? How do you how do you know? How do you contact them? How do you become aware of them? Okay, Um, if you want to be that is one question. (laughs) (laughs) Not three or four. Uh, Yeah, (laughs) somebody who really has got no idea how to even begin with that or how you how you can even begin. Mm to go into something like that well the way to think of it really is the signs that we get from angels and a lot of us see the signs but not all of us recognize that that when we're shown a sign from an angel and it can be some of the smallest little it doesn't have to be uh, a tap on the shoulder it doesn't have to be you know something as dramatic as that but angels intervene and sometimes it can be a feather or it can be that you see you know a particular cloud that makes you think of an angel um, or a rainbow or something that just happens at exactly the right moment or a sudden change maybe in how you suddenly feel differently about Definitely. something yeah as if something's some somebody's just walked in and yeah intervened and taken away that discomfort and the emotional pain has just moved away from you or you get a different perspective on something yeah a lot of the time people will ask their angels for a sign and then they don't listen um it's you know the really important thing is to recognize how to listen and how to how to ask and to be patient and to recognize that they are working with us all the time i mean but your point of making sure that you're dealing with something which is of a good vibration and a a, a positive energy uh, it's it's really about the messages that they give you if you're working with your angels angels god's angels will never tell you anything that could ever harm you no they'll never tell you anything that could harm you and they'll never tell you anything that could anything that could harm anybody else yeah that's right yeah they'll never boost your ego they'll never tell you that you're better than anyone else or that your opinion is better but what they will do is they'll help you to see somebody else's point of view and to understand them a bit better yeah so the messages that you'll always get are messages of love and there are always messages that will are constructive and will help you to have a better life because at the end of the day that's what they want you to do they want you to be able to connect with them to have a safe spiritual journey mm. and a safe spiritual experience and if you ever are not sure what you're dealing with ask them about god if suddenly you feel that there's no energy there at all or that there's nothing there at all or that the energy or the answers that you kind of feel you're getting back aren't good then you're probably not dealing with anything that is of a um a positive nature Mm. um but for me it's all about faith and it's all about believing that yeah as long as you're doing something with good intentions and what's been happening recently you say you were mentioning steve about about the amount of emails that you've had coming in recently and messages yeah definitely it's been it's been very strange because i'd been um out of nowhere people have been messaging me asking me about how do you contact angels how do you recognize the signs how do you um how do you know that an angel is with you and people have been asking me about a course that i've been doing well nobody has known that yeah. i've been working on a course yeah. and uh, but i have been and i've been working on you know my um a course that i've been running 
um, uh. putting it as an online course instead. So nobody knew about this, but yet I've literally had hundreds of messages from people. So angels can also work through um, even things like social media. It's really strange, but you know, messages come at just the right time. Yes. You'll see something that just means something, or you'll hear a song on the radio that just gives you that message of hope just at the right time with the yes. message and the words just absolutely resonate. And you could have switched that radio on at any time, and you could have, um, but yet the message yep. comes through. Yep. <laughs> it's not always in obvious ways and you know you can sit there with a, a, a people can sit there with a, a rational mind and say yeah it's just a song it's just coincidence but for me there's only so many coincidences that can happen before you mm. start to think hold on there's something going on here I'm being guided yeah. and all I'm these messages you've had and emails and contacts with the same theme of angels 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 people asking you about uh, angels this has um, given you almost you know, a very strong calling hasn't it to mm. to to do this course because you've yeah. got more emails about this than anything else absolutely so this course about first of, about 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 angels how how will this work what will okay. people um, do with this course it's about helping people to recognize the signs Mm. and to understand that the signs are just the beginning mm. and sometimes we see a sign from an angel and it's just to give us hope and comfort and it's just to let us know that we're not alone but a lot of the time the sign is just the beginning so if you think of a telephone ringing and a telephone rings and so that you know that there's somebody there but it's not until you lift the receiver and you say hello that you the message actually begins and the conversation begins so really this is about helping people to recognize the signs and then to be able to ask our angels if there's a message that they want to give us if there's mm. any guidance that they want to give us so it's helping yeah. people to really tune into that and to recognize that it, we have a built-in god-given ability to be able to sense our angels and our guardian angels are with us all the time and this takes discipline doesn't it sometimes sometimes it does yeah and it, but it, it more than anything it's about setting that intention and allowing ourselves to move beyond fear and to be protected by god and by his angels and yeah. to recognize that as long as we do that that we can we can move forward on our spiritual journey um it, it, confidently and free from fear and that's probably the most important thing yeah yeah and this course will soon be available via your website yeah you can uh, you can find out more information at stevewentworth.co.uk and there's information on my Facebook page as well about the course. And my Facebook page is facebook.com steve.wentworth. Steve.wentworth. And um, how long might this course uh, last? Well, the course really, it, it's, uh, it's made up of um, lectures and it's made up of meditations and practical exercises. Oh. So it's got a, a whole kind of um, multimedia experience. So the course really, it's designed to last about a week. Yeah. And um, it, so it's, it's got a lot of different aspects in there that I, that I, I think people will really and was one of your one of your videos um, recently had a, well, I'll let you tell me how many, <laughs> how many views. Well, it was an angel video that I created, which is about the signs that angels are near. And that video has been viewed by 21 million people now. Right. That was at the last count. <laughs> so <laughs> so it, it's something which I... I know that um, angels give people so much hope and when yeah. times are, are tough and when time, you know, and sometimes when we feel that there's nobody around that we can talk to um, or we need some hope, we need some comfort, our angels are there to help us with that mm. and lots of people believe in angels but not everybody's sure how to go about actually communicating with them and building that mm. deeper friendship and relationship with them and that's really what I'm hoping that this course can enable people to do. Mm. This is really liberating stuff isn't it? It's about I mean, empowering. Obviously there's still yeah. hard work involved as with any spiritual journey. Yeah. There is, a, a, there is work involved but this really is is quite... It's, um, al it's also about having fun. Eliminating stuff isn't yes, it? Yes yeah. definitely yeah and, and having fun. Mm. You know spirituality doesn't have to be you know totally serious all the time it can no. be about empowering ourselves growing as spiritual beings and having a better life because life is a spiritual experience. Yeah 
And in a nutshell, Steve, um, let's talk about the other things you do. You obviously do readings, you, you teach, you run courses. Yeah. Um, and so I know you don't generally use the word clairvoyant or psychic because there's so much more that you do. Yeah, it's, I've it's kind of... the full package, isn't it? Yeah, I, I think, for me, one of the things that's happened with particularly with putting my trust and faith in angels is that when you're looking to things like even predicting the future when you put your trust in your angels and with god you find that life has a much it has a a way of working out much better than you could have ever predicted or hoped for and that's the power that i've felt that angels have really brought to me so um so my main what i try to do more than anything is to help people to experience their connection and to establish a a confidence in their connection to um to to what they believe in and to god excellent and your website is a very simple one isn't it steve wentworth and as there are no variations on those no that's it it's just (laughs) steve wentworth.co.uk and um before we sign off, um, that about the feather is... I have heard similar experiences from other people, actually. Mm. Yeah. Um, it's something that people could overlook. Yeah. It's something which is a it's a sign which, again, there's these, these signs that people can completely miss. But then when you start to build up that friendship with your angels, you realise that they're actually interacting with us all the time. Mm. And so you trust and belief to start with. You, know, yeah. you have to trust, you have to believe, yeah. which is, these are very powerful f- uh, things in themselves, and then listen. Absolutely, yeah. Stop, yeah. stop the mental chatter, stop um, analysing things, stop busying yourself all the time and just listen. Mm. A lot of people ask but then they do forget to listen and you know or some people don't even know to ask you know they'll see a sign i laugh, and, inv- I laugh with embarrassment <laughs> oh no <laughs> yeah it, it's, it, we're all guilty of it and yeah, you know yeah. life life is busy um uh, you know the, the the course really as well is about having some time for you to have that connection so that you can have that time for you and there's some prayers and meditations in, in, included in the in the course and it really gives you that chance to to have that time to quieten your mind and really start to see these signs all the time and it's incredible it's not just a um it, it's real angels yeah. are real and that's the that's the thing and the course enables you to to really genuinely see that yeah oh excellent thanks very much steve wentworth thanks jonathan that was steve wentworth on uk talk radio